हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन ऑफ यूनिवर्स हरिओम नमस्ते सो द न्यू मून इज ऑन एंड सम ऑफ यू मस्ट बी फीलिंग ऑलरेडी पॉजिटिव अनलाइक लास्ट फोर फाइव डेज इफ यू हैव बीन फीलिंग डाउन एंड वंडरिंग वट्स गोइंग ऑन दिस इज द टाइड ऑफ न्यू मून एंड नो मून एंड फुल मून so it's very important to understand this cycle because um new moon is like a fresh energy starting inside you and this is the best time to start new projects new thoughts and initiate new activities or practices or meditation or creativity into your life because right now your energy is clean and fresh and whatever you start for first 3 4 days as an joyful action till the full moon this thing will grow into a powerful flow of your being if you have noticed that when when you get up in the morning if you lit, listen to a song early in the morning and it resonates and you keep singing it whole day it keeps on going on and on into your head so because in the morning your mind is clean and fresh and first impressions matter because if you get up in the morning you say oh fuck i have to do this i have to do that your day is fucked because you started that mantra into your morning and it will grow up during the day and play with you so similarly whole month has a pattern like a, in the micro there is a day how you start your morning in the month these first 3 4 days with the new moon you will be feeling new positivity just don't waste it on some useless thing and getting too excited about stupid things or this and that put that into some creative action creative thought and let your mind for 3 4 days around that and you will see new depths are coming because the wisdom energy of cosmos which is expressing through the moon cycle will start to cook that what you have initiated so do not let it go carelessly and participate and start some new things new projects and by the full moon you will feel that whatever you started it is catching more and more energy and becoming very strong manifestation by the full moon and after full moon after 3 4 days you will start to feel things are settling down so it's like uh, in om a uh, is the beginning the new creation u is the manifestation and m is the dissolution of the manifestation so this is the cycle in mac- micro and macro level so when things are settling don't freak out because you will feel during the uh, months time whatever people have come close now they are f- going farther away from you don't freak out because when two people come close it's like a clap and to make another clap happen your hands have to go far otherwise closeness creates stagnation so these rhythms happiness and suffering coming close and going away these rhythms which is the life if you go against these rhythms you will start to go against life you will get disconnected with life so welcome both joy and suffering as rhythms and uh, participate into that because once things are settling and things are going away which happened in the last week you must have noticed and if you resist it if you call settling down or relaxing as a negativity and things going away then you got it wrong you you describe to yourself in a very wrong way and then of course how you describe that's how you will react you will try try to put things together and they won't come together to bring things together the new moon these 3 4 days is the time 
initiate some positive action so they build up to a climax and gives you more positivity if you start three four days is some negative thoughts and really because this opportunity of new energy this is where your choice is of course that energy pattern of moon is not your choice but here is your choice what actions like seeds you sow into this first three four days they will grow by full moon and this pattern happens every month but we don't realize the signs of it have you noticed that uh, no no you, you can't notice that because i studied about it that around full moon there are more madness cases the cases with passion and aggression and people go mad around no moon time there are more suicides because people kind of get depressed around that time so even the women's menstruation cycle is related with that the new energy new sexuality and it comes to a peak and then if a baby doesn't happen that the same energy dissolves and menstruation happens psychologically also we go through these cycles and you cannot stop those cycles but you can participate into them in a right way so it's very important it's like surfing surfing in the ocean you don't create the wave but when wave comes ride on it don't get drowned by the wave this riding on the wave is the art of living on art of spirituality you don't resist you surrender that when wave will come you will ride but when you have to ride the wave then you use all your talent to ride on it that's where your will is needed this will is in cooperation with life otherwise people say oh my path is of will so you're resisting things no you coordinate with the energies and ride properly so that you can make use of cosmic energy how it is appearing in patterns and you take a ride with that so usually we are trained to resist our uh, when we are feeling down you try to bring yourself up no when you are going down go down and after going down when your system has rested into your so called negativity and then again you feel new positivity is coming so don't hold on to your negativity then move into positivity and take a ride take a ride with the wave up this is very important this is what i learned since 30 40 years of my path as a seeker that you have to learn and understand your ups and downs you always have a pattern but when there are ups movement that's where you introduce new things so this is the way to understand yourself and initiate new energies into your life so moon is very helpful because moon changes and impacts the water into our system into the oceans also that means increased energy and information into your system when moon is not available it's waning and going down then those energies start to settle within you this is the way of resting if you're always on high you will die very soon and if you are always on low you will stagnate into your life that will also bring death but balance is action and rest so your body is part of this earth moon and sun so it goes through these patterns so enjoy your ride become a surfer and in this first 2 uh, 3 days of uh, the week initiate something new and uh, keep on doing it and you will see that will become a flow and a pattern into you till the full moon and even one week after that but first week is first two weeks is creating and forming things and manifesting them and then you are unlearning them and letting them go now you have experienced them you have a wisdom and that wisdom if you don't waste into negativity it will appear into the next cycle it's one of the habits you have to watch out that even people when they do yoga asana <laughs> yoga asana starts it manifests then you start to unform the yoga asana means you start to undo it nobody focuses on undoing and then 
then you have to focus on the gap between the asana when there is silence and there is no activity this is the time when you are learning your wisdom is now absorbing all has happened during the one month or during the asana and that wisdom is gathering the information so it can be applied applied to the next movement this is not intellectual but during the gap times like in reading people are jumping from word to word and sentence to sentence sentence or thought to thought but with each sentence with each thought with each action there are gaps those gaps are your resting points and if you learn how to do that i will introduce some methods also with that some techniques which are there because rising and falling there is a gap then again new rising and falling there is a gap because between in breath and out breath there is a gap out breath and in breath there is a gap there are techniques to find that gap and focus on that because that is beyond the negative positive that gap that gap is just you pure you with no negativity no positivity so our focus should not be the sansara or illusion is when our focus is on either on positivity or negativity now you are trapped into your own illusion of the mind whereas the reality is you are the gap and negative positive up and down are your two tools to function in this life and you have to know the laws of this energy when your energy is feeling on a rise and notice what is the situation of the moon and you will notice around no moon when moon is waning and going down you are feeling more down and negative and these days notice new energy is building up and don't use that for ego that oh yeah i am feeling great i can do anything this is not your energy this is energy of life and life expects you to sing a song so your song can bloom till full moon it's like universe is singing a song it's inviting you to sing along not to complain but to sing along then creative energy start to participate with you but they never participate with you with your complaints and same yesterday's talk i had few insights about what need to be shared with people because uh, just a glimpse of it is that first you have to work on your body your body most of people i meet their body is clogged their mind is just thinking philosophies and techniques and trying to solve but their body is not in a flow body has to dance and to learn to sit still this is just a seed idea i am sharing with you so think about it and i will tell properly how it has to be implemented till you do not experience these two aspects because body is a celebration it's not only efficiency action it is a celebration of the movement and then your stillness is not a discipline it's a joy of being still that silence is full of music so ride the wave don't let yourself get get drowned by some stupid ideas into your head ride the wave trust the wave then you are holding hands of life moving along with